Welcome, friends, to this week's product review of the Sandmark Video Rig. Do I like it? Will I use it? Or is it for you? Let's find out. There's no one like you, my little girl. Your eyes so blue. Sandmark's film rig was designed to mount phones and action cams. And I must say, I'm shooting in ways that I normally wouldn't. Here I am being silly, running through my home, creating footage that would otherwise be difficult had I been hand-holding my phone. But I have to say, I'm having a blast. I find I'm thinking out of the box and pushing beyond without worrying about dropping or damaging my phone, which is always a concern for me when handling it for action shots. As a photographer, I wonder how much I might use this kit. Yes, I make videos, but I'm not really a videographer. Not in the sense of creating cinematic videos anyway, but I felt as if I was thinking as one while filming my daughter and her boyfriend, who incidentally were cooking a gourmet meal for us. Now, how cool is that? By the way, you guys are awesome, and the experience and food were top notch. What do you guys like about cooking? Nice little bond time. Yeah, for honestly. sure. Honestly. Yeah, I nice. love food. <laughs> nice to eager. Cut that out. Eat what you make. It's nice to eat what you make. Okay, I think you've got a good idea of the type of footage you can capture with this thing. I don't know why, but it just feels official. I've I've done a thing. I'm creating a cinematic short film. Yeah, let's go with that. So let's have a look at the design and construction. It's made of industrial grade aluminum, or as our British friends would say, aluminium. <laughs> it weighs some 13 ounces. It's just shy of five inches or 12 centimeters by just over nine inches or some 23 centimeters. I'm using an iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if you mount the phone between the handles, it's a bit tight and my fingers can't grasp the grips without interfering with the phone. I find it better to utilize the arm extension and protrude the phone forward somewhat. Now the rig comes with four quarter 20 thumb screws for quick device mounting and several quarter 20 threaded holes on both the top and bottom bracket for flexible mounting options. The screws don't seem to tighten to my satisfaction. It's kind of weird. I feel I should add some, like some lock washers for better tension, and per perhaps I will. The extension arm feels just the same way, just, it's just, there's something missing. I found a solution by using one of the thumb screws as a stop, which worked out well, but still, I'd prefer this kit to just work when fastening your gear, it shouldn't be that difficult. The phone bracket is solid aluminum, and a quality build. The spring isn't overly tight, and there are two quarter 20 threads for vertical and horizontal mounting, or for more flexibility. Overall, this is a fun piece of gear that serves a purpose and is a blast to use. I do wonder though, if I'd pack it for a photo trip. If I knew I was working on a project that needed cinematic shots, I'd pack it. Otherwise, probably not. Sandmark sent me a variable ND64 motion filter which screws onto the back of the Sandmark iPhone case. The kit also includes a clip-on mount, just in case you don't want to use their case. That said, this is a fine kit, and I had a blast as a photographer. If you're creating cinematic and action films, this can be a nice asset in your kit. If you're a photographer and don't make videos, I'm not sure this rig is for you. Chances are, you wouldn't get much use out of it, but there are always many scenarios for this rig and honestly it's not going to break the bank so if you're taking videos of your kids or your grandkids this can help improve and enhance your footage i can also see it as an asset for capturing pets as well all right well that's it short and sweet like and subscribe and join my newsletter for tips and the latest happenings have a great week everyone and get out there and enjoy nature the stance.